Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I wanted to rise briefly at uh, the third reading of Bill 55, an act to amend the Residential Tendencies Act. And the, the reason that I'm rising is because we've seen this, this legislation, this law, come before us uh, for amendments multiple times. Uh, but I'm concerned that there are further <laughs> amendments that are needed to this legislation in order to uh, actually do what it needs to do to protect tenants in this province and to help with the housing crisis in New Brunswick. Um, there are several things that, that need to be done, including reinstating a rent cap to help keep prices stable for, uh, for tenants and, and create some more certainty in the market. Um, and um, a bold move would actually be to tie the rent cap to the rental units so that it c the price cannot jump significantly. Um, sometimes it jumps $300, for example. That's a real example um, be between tenants. Um, we also need to see um, further um, powers uh, entrenched within this this legislation to address human rights. Not only recognizing that um, that housing is a affordable housing is a human right, um, but ensuring that discrimination against um, people with children, against families, against people with disabilities, that that is not allowed and that people are not just sent to the Human Rights uh, Commission where, where they, they may not get anywhere and it doesn't really address their issue. Um, we also need a registry of short-term rentals. We've actually just seen um, a fire um, in Moncton this week. Um, in uh, a short-term rental. We've seen examples in other places like in Montreal. We need to have a registry and make sure that that industry is regulated in this province um, to ensure safety, but also to help us understand the, the landscape. Um, we also need a rental registry for rentals. Um, and this could um, especially help tenants to uh, understand the history and again, prevent those, those huge um, spikes in price between tenants. Um, Something that would be really helpful for tenants um, who, who face challenges would be a rent bank. Um, this is something that, that could be brought in to help make sure that um, if someone faces um, becoming unhoused because they have an emergency, and there are so many people who are one paycheck away from from becoming unhoused, uh, not being able to pay their bills, if they were uh, able to get a loan uh, without interest or a grant from a rent bank, and these do exist in other places, then it could help them for be from becoming unhoused. Um, if, and this could happen to lots of people, just their car breaks down and then, then they're in trouble. Um, we also need to ensure that um, there are um, that we addressed energy poverty and the costs of energy that tenants face um, and ensure uh, energy efficiency programs for renters. Um, we do, I, I believe, need a full review of the Residential Tenancies Act and ensure that the voices of tenants are, are really listened to in that. Um, Obviously, I also think we need further investments in affordable housing, incentives for nonprofits and cooperatives specifically. We need bold targets to be set for, for um, housing being built, um, ensuring that tenants living in public housing have the same legal protections as other renters in the province, um, and ensuring wraparound services are, are available as needed, and um, to figure out the um, proper um, investments uh, and programs to help uh, seniors um, to stay in their homes, um, whether it ne their house needs to become accessible or they just need repairs. Um, th this is something that, that can help to keep them in their home longer. Um, in addition to, um, to making sure that there's other options, uh, some creative uh, types of housing, um, and of course ensuring that we're, that we're looking at ensuring there's housing all across the province, including in rural areas. And so I've outlined many things that I think need to be done, and many of them um, would uh, need to be done by amending the Residential Tenancies Act. And so once again, um, I do think that this bill does not go far enough, and so I wanted to, to just stand up at third reading and outline um, what I do think is missing at, um, at this point. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.